Namaskaram. So this is Sandhya Shankar from Music of Madras bringing you a Acharya chat. In today's uh, chat show, we are having two very interesting personalities who uh, have come together. They collaborate at their work. And uh, today they have made time for us from different parts of the world. And here we are going to meet them. So I'd like to introduce Nandini Mehta and her uh, partner at work, uh, Murli Mohan. Uh, Namaste. 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 Welcome Nandini and welcome Murli. Thank Ji. you. Thank you. Thank you. So Nandini is sitting uh, in Bangalore and Murli is sitting uh, in Bangkok and Ji. here we are at Chennai. Wonderful. Thanks to technology, all of us can, uh, you know, be on the same screen or, uh, you know, speak to each other like this virtually. Hope Without going to the airport. Exactly. Hope all yes. is well with both of you. Perfect. Yes. Touch all wood. So far, so good. Awesome. Uh, it is, uh, I must say that it is very nice of both of you to have, you know, sort of uh, come together and make time for us on the same day, same time. And uh, uh, I'm really looking forward to this uh, chat show. Pleasure is ours, Sandhya ji. So uh, to begin at the very beginning, uh, let us first find out where and when Nandini and you uh, began your journey together. Um. <laughs> Before we talk about individual stories. <laughs> How sure. did that happen? And uh, the rest is all history, I guess. Actually, Nandini, would you like me to share or? Sure, you can start. Okay, so um, I, I um, grew up in Gujarat. So all my schooling, uh, all my formative years were in Gujarat. So I learned from Guru Sri Dharamsi Bhai Shah. And when I came to uh, Bangalore for my studies, mm. that's when I went to Natya school where Maya Didi uh, was the prominent uh, guru. And uh, I, I, I met, uh, I did not meet yet Nandini, but she was also a student of uh, Maya Didi. And we had some common friends and it so happened that we tried to meet over Navratri, one of those nine days when we went for Dandia Garba and all that. And then slowly we came to learn that, you know, she also goes to my Didi's uh, class. And then we came to know about the common things that we had was Kathak. And we started to dancing together. There was Satinara and Raju, Nirupama, Rajendra, Nandini, myself. And we started touring abroad as well. Nandini organized a, a Switzerland tour. We had toured Switzerland and France, wasn't it? And then from there on, we just took off and we said, let's uh, work together. Awesome. <laughs> Nandini, way, this was way back, uh, I mean, how many years ago was this? It was, uh, I think, the year 94, 95. Oh, it's been a long right. journey. Yes, a long journey. <laughs> you know, it this, uh, this itself explains what kind of teamwork and uh, uh, harmony has been there between uh, both of you. Uh, and I, I think this led to you starting your own school, Nadam. Right. Uh, it's right. a child of both of yours? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, actually, this is what happened. We started to um, riyaz together, practice together. And, and the performance, uh, the, the practice we started to do, because she had learned um, from the Lucknow school, Lucknow Bani or Gharana. And I um, hailed from the Jaipur Gharana. So both of us, um, you have many things in common, but then there are still things that are different. So we had to come to a common ground and we choreographed pieces and created new things. Now we had the urge of presenting and showing to people if we've practiced so much. So we started to host things. Let's say we hire a stage or, you know, for an evening performance, invite some close people and the art fraternity. 
we realized that we are able to hold on a performance for an hour, an hour and a half, but then we've hired the, the stage and equipment for a complete day. So we started to decide, you know, we, we, we thought we could lend this out to somebody else. So we started to invite other in, um, artists in order to, you know, give them a platform as well. And that's how we grew Nadam and we said, let's do things for other people like us who are looking for opportunities because we wait for other people to give us but instead we started to create and started to give and share. I must say it's a win-win situation because uh, you're giving an opportunity to other people. At the same time, since you've hired the place for the entire time, you're making good use of the time. Right, right, exactly. Uh, Nandini, uh, uh, you were initially, uh, uh, your first initiation was Bardhanatyam, I understand. Right, right. Uh, so tell us more about it and uh, have you been the first generation of, uh, I mean, first generation dancer in your family? Yes, uh, music runs in the family. My mother was a musician and my sister is also a musician, a Carnatic vocalist. And is she a performer? Yes. Oh, what's her name? Chandrika. Very nice, very nice. And uh, she's done her master's in music as well. Um, so I started dancing uh, when I was five year old. So my mother, mother took me to a school close by. And my first guru was uh, Guru Kesha Murthy. And uh, later I went to Professor U.S. Krishna Rao and Srimati Chandra Bhaga Devi at uh, Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan in Bangalore. So I performed my Arangetram in the year uh, 1987. And uh, later continued training under Guru Narmada and Guru Bhanumati. So later on, um, I started, um, I enrolled myself for choreography okay. at uh, Natya Institute of Kathak and Choreography, started by Guru Dr. Maya Rao. And uh, that was the year 1987 only. Okay. So, that was when Kathak moved to South of India and to Bangalore. Otherwise, we had no Kathak. So uh, I was attracted to Kathak at that time when Maya Didi moved to Bangalore. Excellent. We, we need to thank Maya Didi for, uh, <laughs> you know, making Kathak so popular in Bangalore. Yes, yes, I yes. must say that, uh, I must in fact confess that Chennai is, uh, we don't have that, that many uh, Kathak schools or uh, teachers out here, at least to my knowledge, it right. is more Bharatanatyam uh, saturated here. Right. Uh, Nandini, it's very uh, unusual for a uh, Gujarati, uh, you know, with a Mehta name to have started Bharatanatyam. How did this interest happen? Uh, I think it was my mother's dream to learn dancing. So she okay. took me to the dance school and uh, enrolled me there. And uh, that's how I, initially it was just a hobby for me and later it became my passion and profession. Excellent. This is Manoj. And her mother Mano. is from Mysore. Ha. Huh. Yes. Yes, and she's quite a, she's been quite a name to reckon with, Manoj. She Mano. hails from a family called Ambali family in Mysore. Mm -hmm. And uh, my mother's uh, sisters as well are uh, trained in Carnatic music. So, music is in the family. Family, well. family. And uh, yourself, Murli? Same thing, first generation. Everybody was surprised that I took to dancing. Mm. Yeah. It is, it, is, uh, it must have been, uh, uh, but, but, but were there any uh, objections or uh, they took it well? I think, um, I think I had encouragement all the way. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't be where I am today. Okay, that's fortunate. Okay. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Of course, there are times, there are pockets when, um, as a child, I would I would uh, spend or invest more time uh, practicing or spending time with dance. But uh, so then studies would take uh, you know setback. But then I always was successful in in that as well. 
and and I got the encouragement I needed. My parents took me to my guru. So, uh, but how did you show interest in Kathak? Did you see a particular performance? How old were you? Yeah, um, I was nine years old. Okay. When I started with my guru Sri Dharamsi Bhai Shah. Uh, yes, my parents did go asking for Kuchipudi or Bharatanatyam. Yes, uh, you, you, I mean, b- uh, being a Telugu speaking uh, person, I would have exactly. thought Kuchipudi would have been the first choice. <laughs> correct, correct, correct. And then um, it was those Shankara Bharanam types, and my father was in Central Salt CSIR Laboratories, which was at, also in Gujarat at that time. So we had annual performances where, you know, Malika Sarabhai Ji would come or people like that would come and perform annually. So that's when I saw some Kathak or some ODC, Pratima Baby Ji and stuff like that. And uh, when they went to my guru, the, my guru had also learned all the art forms and uh, they asked whether he, would, they could enroll me under to learn Kuchpuri or something like that. He said, let them, let him uh, learn Kathak first and then we will see because he started to focus on Kathak. So in, when we were in Gujarat, like you said, in Chennai, majorly we have Bharatanatyam. So yes. like that in Gujarat, we, we had only Kathak at that time. Okay. So I'm glad Kathak happened. <laughs> <laughs> how, how was your, uh, how was your uh, experience with your first teacher? Uh, were they very um, strict or how was it? I think my uh, guru, um, like many gurus, of course, I can comment uh, that I have been very fortunate, had been very giving. And um, they are very extremely happy when they see a male dancer. <laughs> and especially one who stays for a lifetime, you know, for a longer time. Otherwise, they come and go types, right? So, so. Um, I think I had a wonderful uh, bond with my guru. I enjoyed uh, learning from him. Uh, We had, I don't know, but people think um, I received some uh, special partial attention or treatment from him. Probably he saw some spark and some much talent in you. He always said that. He always said that. Of course, uh, uh, I've, uh, I've found in several families that there's not that much encouragement for uh, boys to learn dance because I think uh, they're scared that uh, they end up having uh, uh, feminine gestures and, you know. Uh, sure, it, they're very demonstrative, yes. I think you, you can, you, you can uh, nullify that notion now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Actually, actually, when I was younger, it was a little different because you're you're walking, talking, you're moving around with a majority of people who are uh, girls. And then I, I was touring the US. I just finished a performance and I stepped off stage and we were going off. And there was one of those audience who said, hey, were you on the stage just now? Are you the same Murli? And they said, we cannot recognize you at all. And I cannot tell you were a dancer if I did not see your performance there today. So that was a wonderful compliment I went back with. <laughs> I let go that compliment. In fact, when I'm seeing you virtually, I'm thinking it seems so different from the videos I, I checked out before I <laughs> show. <laughs> Very different. <laughs> Nandini, tell me, learning Bharatanatyam and then this transition to Kathak, uh, did it have any, uh, I mean, did you face any conflicting uh, situations in that, in the learning process? Yeah. Uh, initially, uh, it was a little difficult because, because each one has got their own dynamics, right? Right, right. Very true. And uh, Kathak is totally different from Bharatnatyam. From starting on the stance, in Bharatnatyam you had Aramandi, and then in Kathak there is no Aramandi, you stand straight in the stance. And uh, of course, the rigidity is not there in Kathak, it's more spontaneous. So it was totally, you know, very different. It took me quite some time to get into the groove. Of Why would you do it? Why would you, uh, uh, I mean, you're already uh, comfortable with Bharatanatyam. Why would you try to learn? Uh, the footwork was easy to pick up. 
because um, what fascinated things. you about Kathak that what you had an effort uh, of uh, looking, uh, you know, moving uh, into that zone. Me, me, me. I found it uh, yes, tell me fully. Go ahead. Uh, maybe the grace and the bhav which I saw attracted me to it. Here, uh, Sandhya ji, I would also, yes, Nandini, please go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. I, I just wanted to um, uh, share with you very quickly, uh, if we have the time uh, to, to, to play one video. No, I was about to request you. You just spoke my mind. Oh, okay. To uh, share with the viewers uh, the kind of amazing work that you both have done. Uh, which one of the videos would, would you be able to share with us to begin with? Um, I'm, I'm talking about uh, Maha Ganapatim, okay. Manasa Smarami. So you see, this has got such a Karnatic flavor. Yes. Both of us staying here in the South, we wanted to... Uh, we wanted to have an audience that appreciates even the North Indian classical form. So we thought we'd use their language and we used, uh, we recorded this piece, um, Mahaganapatim from Praveen D. Rao, who's done an amazing job. We were all very nervous because it was a little more, um, what do you call a very a fusion version. But in that you will see many motifs to show or depict Lord Ganesha, we have used a little grammar from Bharatanatyam. And I would like you to see it, so you will, uh, uh, you will be able to... In fact, uh, uh, why not? Because, I mean, why not the fusion? Because uh, when Western songs or Western kind of music is taken to a Carnatic song, like, see, Mahaganapatam or Krishnani Begane Baro, and right. uh, when they make a fusion of that, uh, this should be uh, very, very, uh, must be something people must have appreciated a lot. Correct. We, they, they really loved it. They started to ask us to perform with the pieces we have. Can you perform this one and that one and this oh. one? Yeah, so, <laughs> so that means uh, that piece was successful. Yes, yes. You're on the right thing, the right track. Yeah. Let us, so let we'll, us, uh, we'll play the first yeah. piece, Maha Ganapatim. Yes. Even the singer, Fayaz Khan Sahab, was a little nervous. He said, you're going to get me slayed by all the purists here. <laughs> and we were nervous, but it was very well appreciated. Yes, if you can uh, play it, let me know. Whatever. Dance has no barriers. We have Fayaz Ali Khan Sahab singing a Maha Ganapatim. Absolutely. And Telugu person Absolutely. learning, uh, uh, Murli Mohan uh, learning Kathak, and which is so much the other side of India's, and we have a, a blend of Gujarati person, <laughs> Nandini <laughs> learning Bharatanatyam, then you bring <laughs> all this together, and we are going to see the magic there. Wonderful. <laughs> Oh, that'd be great. Have you performed in Chennai? Both of you? 
duet, we duet yes, sometimes yeah, we performed. We have, we have presented, but not as much as we would have liked to. I'm sure uh, <laughs> after the pandemic times, I'm, I'm sure there will be more opportunities. Sure, sure, sure. Chennai must be watching the show to, uh, you know, ask for you. <laughs> sure, we have a lot of friends from, from the class. Uh, Nandini, 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 you, uh, you, you have so many hats on your head. You are a mm -hmm. French teacher and you're a soft skill trainer. You're a dance teacher. You're a performer. How do you manage to juggle so many uh, roles? I want to ask you which is your favorite because I know dancing is your, I mean, totally it's your passion. It's your yes, passion. dancing is my first love. And uh, I enjoy teaching. So I taught French for um, the students of uh, hotel management and travel and tourism. So that was another phase. So now I'm totally into dancing. So I think if you love something, you make time for it. Absolutely, absolutely. It's it's a it's a naturally you will uh, you know migrate towards making yes. time for it. Yes, uh, Murli ji, uh, did you also learn uh, music? Because alongside with dance, I did. I did learn music, uh, but I dare not sing in front of people or present. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Murli is a very good singer. I, in fact, I was about to request both of you. Uh, either together or individually, because I know both of you have learned music and uh, uh, <laughs> rather than asking you to dance on the our show now that we have your videos, why didn't you sing a song for us, Mugli? A bit of it at least. I know. Oh. I'm not prepared. Uh, yeah. It'll be, it'll be a very, uh, it'll be a Yesuda's song from the film. Sure. Really? Mm -hmm. Which one? Which film? Uh, I think it's Chichor. Go ahead. Go for it. I don't know. I don't remember the name of the movie. Um, but I will hum a line. Yes. You sing and I'll, I'll it'll be a, a riddle like I'll tell you the name of the film. Oh. Considering how many films I've seen. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, edit it if it is not okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. जब दिए जले आना, जब शाम ढले आना, संकेत मिलन का भूल न जाना मेरा प्यार न बिसराना, जब दिए जले आना जब शाम ढले आना मेरी कांवड़ी का इट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल ब्यूटीफुल सॉन्ग यस इट्स चिट्सोर एंड नंदनी व्हाट अबाउट यू आई एम नॉट यू डोंट हैव टू बी इट इज जस्ट अ फन शो आई जस्ट सिंग टू लाइंस ऑफ अ तेलुगु सॉन्ग Oh, he, see, <laughs> it's complete national integration. He's Telugu wala sings a Hindi song, and uh, Gujarati person is singing. Actually, song. I tell people that Murli is more of a Gujarati than me. But <laughs> I was born and brought up in Bangalore. Okay. So I'm more of a Bangalore. Aga Kannada hard helbe ko. How come you're singing a Telugu? No, no, no. Go for a Telugu. Happy, very happy. Please. मेरु पुलु पुलु तंदगा मपुलु मेसनी दिंडुगा गगनमु वेसनी शैयगा हाई गनुंडु वेतारका हाई गनुंडु वेतारका मेरु पुलु पुलु तंदगा 
మా పులు మెత్తని దిండుగా గగనము వెత్తని శయ్యగా హాయిగ నుండు తారక హాయిగ నుండు తారక ఆసమ్ వెరీ నైస్ మురళీజీ యూ పర్ఫార్మ్డ్ ఇన్ సో సో మెనీ ఫెస్టివల్స్ బోత్ ఆఫ్ యూ uh like the uday shankar festival and konark dance festival and the list is endless which would you think is uh, like um the the uh, dance festival it's a very prestigious festival for us i think um it's it's not a diplomatically right answer i'm telling you this from our heart um the opportunity to present doesn't matter where doesn't matter how small or big has always been a wonderful treat um we we just want the the opportunities to flow <laughs> to present doesn't matter where yes of course if it's a konark if it's a, you know kajuraho we definitely jump uh with pride we feel happy but before the performance the nervousness every time is the same okay <laughs> the gratification at the end is also the same so so we enjoy every piece in shop what i want to want to i'm sure i'm sure every, every program is equally important it be it small or big so absolutely absolutely yeah. i i guess uh, some places or some festivals or some some particular uh, events have a, a, a legacy behind it and they carry forward that you know and um, performing there probably you'll need to uh, put together something uh, which you you plan a great deal of uh, ahead how yeah. does your choreography <laughs> happen Uh, we recently went to uh, Cambodia for the during this pandemic no no uh, before the pandemic mm. we were invited by um, the ICCR excellent mm. uh, we performed there for the republic day celebrations so it was a 15 member troupe no 2020 republic day uh, no it was 2019 maybe 1718 i think okay on team or 18 years and soon after that we had another tour of uh, uh kazakhstan vietnam and uh, thailand now this is very interesting how how do people receive it there is it a indian aud- audience or you have a mixed audience so it was all uh, western audience then kazakhstan it was for the seo summit and we represented india nadim represented india and, uh, we performed uh, there along with 12 other countries and we performed the same piece you watched just now mahaganapati so uh, that was one of the most uh, memorable experiences for us and even our pm modi ji was there in the audience to watch obviously it must have been very well received right right yeah excellent so mutli ji and uh, nandini how do you both plan like okay you both are located in different uh, geographical locations so nadam has the same syllabus or uh, uh, how how would you work together it's only been 7 years that i have been away but not away enough because when there are opportunities i always fly back of course the pandemic has made um, many things uh, go virtual but as um, uh late as 19 2019 also we have been presenting together so when there are when there are opportunities here i invite nandini <laughs> when there are opportunities in india that are big enough then then um i fly there and i i perform and come so whenever we have long week long weekends or we set around some time from my work when i go to india then that's the time that we would have already pre-planned hey you know cooking something up new 
hey, I, I have always been wanting to work on this song, Nandini would say. I would say, hey, let's do this. And then we bring these things together. We have the recording done with Praveen Rao in Bangalore. And then we start to work on it. So sometimes we have worked on a piece for two years and then we create the music to match it. Mm. Sometimes we do the music first with some, uh, you know, major uh, uh, things in mind. And, and then uh, we take it from there and start to fill up the pieces and bring it together. And then once we both decide and fix it. So here again, doing it virtually is very difficult. So either she flies here, we set it together. I fly there, we set it together. And then we share it with our students and see how it works. What took you to Bangkok, uh, Murliji? Work. I'm working here with Philip Morris. Excellent, excellent. I was with ABB earlier in Bangalore. Okay, okay. Fine. So, uh, Even before the pandemic, we've been uh, practicing online <laughs> since he moved to Bangkok. <laughs> so, uh, is there any other uh, performance which we could share with our viewers? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, there is, Let them get uh, a flavor of it. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. One of those pieces, I think, um, there is the Antar Dhvani. Uh, this is also a very uh, traditional piece in terms of Kathak. But music-wise, we had, um, we had a kind of like, let's say, diversified a bit. Because um, I think this is the uh, video number three, if, if the studio can pull out video number three. Uh, it was called Antar Dhvani. We created this in 1999 with Praveen D. Rao. So that, that early on, when we told Praveen, we want some uh, Western music, like you just mentioned a while ago, Western people taking our flavor. We were going to present in various places. So we said, give us some feel like the Mozart or something like that that would blend and not really jar out. So he got some violinists from Kerala. Can you imagine to play this Western piece? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, he also then introduced the mandolin. First time it was introduced in Kathak. Um, and in 1999, this, pre, this, this, this was a masterpiece that Nadam created with the help of Praveen Dira. We'd like to, you to just look at just a little bit of it. It was a 17 minute piece, but we have for you one minute. Wonderful. I mean, it's so light on the feet and the music is so, you know, it touches the soul. 
and uh, this could be probably welcomed by this younger generation who if they if they were not to be aligned to one type of music or one type of uh, language then uh, this is very universal and very neutral correct correct many people had mentioned when they came they were awestruck they said we should tour the world with it and uh, what we have showcased here is the only piece that was western everything else was traditional the murli so piece suddenly then. it just blows away everyone because they didn't expect that it would change yes so, yes yeah, yeah. go ahead sorry it it must have been a very um, uh, unexpected you know thing on right, the stage right right move exactly so um who that who do you think uh, who do you call your inspiration or your role model and kathak both of you i think we all have you know like i think when i was in school i used to just keep hearing listening and singing lata mangeshkar song or if it's carnatic music i had my own uh, favorite musicians so you would have uh, watched a lot of uh, people senior to you okay, uh, i think it's pandit maharaj Birju Maharaj ji and also my guru dr maya rao wonderful wonderful Mudi. similar 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 for me for me uh, it's my guru first guru shri dharam sri bhai shah and for me i i learned from uh, arjun mishra ji a little bit i was fortunate uh, i loved his style it it he really blew me um, away he took me to another world i really wanted to be something like him um so he he is somebody i was very happy with then i had also gone to kumi ben then to molik bhai so um very nice i i i i was able to receive whatever that i liked from each of them so even today i'm able to appreciate many different people for different things it's a very natural thing that happens that once you are seeking something uh, automatically like a sponge you just accept it exactly. comes around and like a magnet you draw it to uh, exactly. you know exactly. rora bright to talk about the secret or something the book like that but it's yeah. a natural phenomena and then we have to mention uh bragaka from madras um, i learned my first piece with her uh, in the us uh, when malti anga ji had called her and then from then on nandini and nadam and me have been inviting bragaka ji and we have had her choreograph for us Awesome. a lot of pieces that we have adopted adapted to the kathak style and she is another guru that i draw a lot of inspiration from there is uh, so many factors which come and so many people who have played a significant role in making all this happen for you exactly i think you've even worked with uh, shobhana selva ganesh and anuradha sridam ji ji bilkul back in chennai yes. what kind of work did you do with them and uh, how did how was the experience it was fantastic i was uh, a young boy still i would say um i think 2002 around then um and uh, shobhana ji had a big uh, uh presentation or a charity coming up where she had to do or fuse with uh, north indian classical form so she did the bharatanatyam with her students and i was the only solo guy doing the kathak so i had to match not only shobhana ji but also her group of students so <laughs> so there were there were pieces where we did a duet where i performed to my my part and she performed to her part like carnatic music and hindustani but then i did it for one of the uh, carnatic pieces she danced to one of the hindustani pieces and we had in the audience 
Anuradha Sriram, we had Parshuram Sriram ji, we had uh, Salva Ganesh ji, we had Vikram Ghosh ji, oh, and uh, it was nice because I stayed in Chennai for those whole two weeks and then we brought this presentation. It was wonderful. So um, I think they are, uh, uh, your child or your daughter is also a dancer. Yes, Bhavani, yes. She's a wonderful dancer and I'm glad I didn't have to force her. She's taken to it very naturally. And, uh, and what about your spouse? My spouse, uh, she started to learn the first time she got pregnant. The <laughs> second time, uh, same thing happened. So she's not learning anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Her name is Uma, oh. but she's so beautiful. I must say, I take this opportunity to share that. Everybody thinks when they see her that she's a dancer. She's a dancer. Yeah. She, she is Telugu speaking, but born and brought up in Chennai. Uh, excellent. So you, you teach your daughter? Yes, I do. <laughs> Nandini, myself. And uh, one of my friends, uh, Karandeep Singh, uh, he also uh, is responsible for her growth in Qatar. You both, I mean, I, I know that both of you have individually received a lot of awards and you've re received it, uh, received many awards together. So mm -hmm. tell, tell us uh, something about the awards that you received as a team, individually? Uh, one award was uh, by Nitya Kala Parishu, which is uh, an association in Bangalore. So we received this award uh, together. And uh, the other one was uh, in Vishakapatnam, we received uh, Natyashri, the title. Yes. Correct, correct. There are many. I received yeah, the Odin yeah. Shankar Award. Yes, he received the Ayash, Ashish Mohan. Nandini received the, even the Karnataka Kalashri, the, the highest state award. Yeah. Many of these um, we're just happy when these come because Nandini and I expect uh, to present together but never work towards an award. So when we get it. Uh, uh, you know, so I was about to say that. I said, yeah. these awards, definitely we value them and respect them. But uh, I'm sure uh, speaking to both of you, you both are dancing too, because you, you have to dance. Get it, get it. Exactly. Exactly. Very, very true. Uh, we're also very proud that we've brought up uh, very fine soloists, today. Oh. There's Mita Srinivasan, there is Purna Acharya, there is Arpita Banerjee, there is Mita Vinay, there is Samanvita Sharma. They're all fantastic running their own schools in Bangalore. Okay. So we're really proud. I think yeah. we, we, we must uh, somehow steal a few of them for Chennai. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're all married to Bangalore. <laughs> or, or we must create an opportunity where we can invite both of you right. to perform for us. We would love sure. to come and perform for Chennai. Thank you. So uh, I, I'd like to uh, uh, request you to play one more video of yours. Wonderful. So the number four video, if I think, uh, let me, yeah, yes, have. number four video is a video which... Um, I wanted to uh, share anyways with you because this is being presented by our students, uh, Nandini Dhamar. So we worked for it for two years um, on the nuances and stuff like that and bringing up the jatis, what they need to do and things. And then uh, when they, when then we got the music recorded with Pravin Dirao and then they presented this. So, so we'd like to. Yeah, let's let let's. Let's
really colorful and lovely. Murliji, in the beginning of this program, I was mentioning that uh, Nandi is from the Lucknow, uh, yeah. uh, from Jaipur. Now, that actually made me very curious because I don't have much knowledge about Kathak. Bharatanatyam is good with me, but uh, of course, I'm fascinated by Kathak. I like Hindustani music is from different garanas, even Kathak dance is from different garanas. Yes, it you is. You call it Karana or you call it something? Yeah, we call it Karana. No. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, can you just, I mean, uh, this, this I think uh, it uh, will interest uh, people who are interested in the academic part of it. What, what can you elicit the small differences like between a Jaipur Karana and Lucknow Karana to begin with? What would be the difference? Sure. Um, usually, um, if you look at a bigger picture, Jaipur is more uh, concentrating on the nruta or the technical aspect, uh, whereas Lucknow uh, is the graceful or the lasya uh, aspect. Um, the jatis or tukras or parans or things that you call in Lucknow would be a little brief. In Jaipur, they would be very long. So these are some uh, differences for people to just get it. But of course, uh, we are able to see more, <laughs> draw yeah. more differences and things like that. But then there are other schools. There's the Raikhad Gharana from Madhya Pradesh. There's also Banaras Gharana. Uh, so there are these different uh, schools that have got uh, the poetry is a little different that is used by each of these. The Abhinay pieces that they perform would be different. This is so interesting because uh, for a average, uh, you know, person who's just, uh, just thinks there's only one type of Kathak. In fact, mm -hmm. for me, uh, I think my initial um, exposed to Kathak would be watching uh, Hindi films where uh, Umrao Jhan or somebody or what they call Kathak mm -hmm. a few or some old films where there's a dance sequence so I it is very fascinating to know that there are different garanas there's so much so much depth into this really? that's, uh, true. that's true that's true not many know I just see one Tawaif uh, dancing one Kathak piece and that's right. a movie I mean, that's, that's yeah. what we know, you know. <laughs> that's okay. But uh, there is so much depth and so much of uh, uh, beauty in, behind this uh, art. Correct. That's why it gets recognized as a classical art. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. It is very fascinating. And Normally, people think Kathak is just footwork and chakras or pirouettes. But we have so much of bhav and abhinay in Kathak. Very graceful. Yes. Sort of Thumris, Ashtapadis. And, uh, oh, Ashtapadis also. Yes, yes. We perform Ashtapadis as well. Dashamtar, you, you name it. <laughs> uh, I don't know how much I can thank both of you, uh, you know, for joining us today. Is there something you would like to leave behind in terms of advice or uh, anything that you would like to share with our audience? I would like to say thank you. <laughs> no, we need thank you uh, to you and your team for inviting us, first of all. And second is uh, there are many people who come, um, who, who start to get disoriented, who think, is it the right thing that I'm doing? Should I pursue or not? Because it doesn't pay immediately. Yeah. Or an expression on your face to reach to the audience itself takes a good 30 years of practice for you or for one to be convincing. Oh, I yeah. I, I thought it you were you were talking about economically doesn't pay me. <laughs> yes, that too, that too. But what I'm trying to say is for you to get there 30 years to be able to, you know shine and things like that it's going to take a while but then if you enjoy it 
probably you have to keep it, keep going and don't be, what do you call discouraged? I guess both of you realized pretty young that this was your calling. Yes, absolutely. And there's no looking back after that. Right. Yeah. I wouldn't want it any other way. <laughs> true, very true. You know, these, these are the type of things, I guess, which only, only uh, it's an individual experience which uh, makes you decide whether, uh, I mean, how much can you explain to a person? Correct. It's true. It's, 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 it's very true. That's why sometimes we've had uh, students who say, uh, Nandini, ma'am, or Lisa, uh, they've been very nice to us. <laughs> And, and we're fortunate for that much because they seek permission from us and they say, hey, I think I want to go to Odisha. Mm. Or I want to go to another art form. I want to go to the theater. We've had students like that. But we have let them go. We have appreciated because they still want to stay in the art community. Fair enough. So if it's not Kathak, it's something else. And I'm, I'm very happy that they've got, we've given them that space to talk and share with us that they're going and not go away quietly. <laughs> that's that's very nice because you, you, you've you put it across very beautifully that uh, at least you're still in the art space. And yeah. somebody like me who can uh, neither dance or uh, never learned to dance, wanted to, but never learned dance and not a performing singer, just basic. Or um, then at least I get to talk to you people and write about this and... Is, I'm still in that space. It, it is indeed a very fortunate uh, thing that I, I, I'm at least able to do this. Yeah. But more very than nice people, like, us, it's it's people like you who can take it forward. Mm -hmm. Yes, Nandini, sorry, sorry. No, I say very nice initiative, uh, like what you're doing. No, somebody, uh, friends often ask me, how is it that you write, I mean, you, you're a music critic or a dance critic. I said, that's because I can't perform and sit, sit, sitting down and criticize. <laughs> no, it's a great service to the arts, what you're doing. Thank you, Nandini. And it was lovely talking to you. And uh, Murli ji, very nice of you to join us. And uh, it's been a very, very interesting chat show. Ji, thank you so much for having us. Uh, lovely the pleasure yes. <laughs> namaste thank your entire team as well welcome sir so we sign off for today meet you next week same place same time namaskar <laughs>